everyone. I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka, and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you're listening, subscribing, and commenting. I really appreciate the support. And in this one, I wanted to speak to you about a comment that an individual left on my channel a while back. I'm kind of going back to my older, 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 the old list of uh, interesting comments that people have left that I want to speak upon. And so basically the comment was left by 292 Amateur Asu. So I don't know what that means, if that's a real name or not. But basically they said something like, I remember an article where an author said that INFJs need four things in their life, continual learning, impact, independence, and beauty. And I found that very accurate. And I wanted to do a video on it because I find it very accurate as well. And I wanted to speak to these four things uh, independently and then also talk about how we need to bring more of these things into our life if we want to live a more balanced, more healthy INFJ life. So continual learning is the first point. And I'm sure if you are an INFJ right now and if you're at all interested in learning more about yourself, you know that this is one of those things that drives you, that is a major passion of yours. It might be different things, so different INFJs are interested in different things. I know I'm obsessed with learning about spirituality and about um, nutrition and things like that. So of course that's my obsession. I know other INFJs who are completely obsessed with learning about how to fix cars or how to make things and other INFJs still who are interested in learning more about psychology and things like that. So every INFJ is going to have their own obsession, their, their need or desire to learn more about this particular subject matter. But when they are, when they do realize that this is their obsession, they will just immerse themselves into it so much so that their entire life is going to be based upon that item, right? And so continual learning is definitely one of those things that we are we are constantly learning. We are constant learners. We're lifelong learners. It's something that we do without even thinking about it. It comes naturally to us. It's something that we do because we need it in order to stay alive, in order to... It's as important to us, I would say, as breathing or eating food. In fact, a lot of times I'd rather, you know, read a book than eat some food because it's so much more important to me to be learning. Of course, I try not to do that too often because you have to take care of your physical body. The next one is impact, and I know that this is something that is important to a lot of INFJs, and I know it's very important to me particularly, um, because we realize that as INFJs that we have a very limited time on this planet, and that we're going to be here for a few years, at most 80 years, 70 years, something like that. And we want to make sure that those those few years that we are here, we want to make sure that we do the best we can in those few years, that we learn as much as we can, obviously, but also that we're able to make an impact with our learnings, with our unique talents, our abilities, etc. And until INFJs get to a point where they are making an impact, a significant impact in their own way, it doesn't necessarily have to be an impact, a significant impact in the way society thinks about it. We're not necessarily interested in the same things as, you know, we want, we don't, we're not like, oh, we, I want to make a million dollars or a billion dollars and control um, a country or, you know, be a leader or things like that. It's not necessarily those things that we're interested in, but we are interested in making an impact in our own significant way. And once we start making that impact in that particular manner, then we feel that, that we have arrived, we feel that we have made it, that we are doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing. And then we just want to keep on going with it forever and ever and ever and ever as long as we're alive. And so impact is definitely one of those things that is extremely important to us. So if you haven't found that thing that makes you have an impact on the planet in your own particular manner, then that's something that is definitely that should be on top of your list. That should be something that you should be trying to figure out how you particularly can make an impact in your own way in a way that makes sense to you that 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 is significant to you and how you can keep on doing that for a long time to come so that is again the second item that i that i want to speak about the third one is independence or freedom however you want to call it that word can be can be said in so many different ways but being independent being free to think our own thoughts to live our own life 
to be in the way that we want to be, to do the things that we want to do, to spend our time doing the things that we want to do. All of that freedom, all that independence is extremely paramount to an INFJ. And without that, we will feel restless. We will feel like we're not doing, we're not on the right path. We will feel like we're kind of, um, we'll feel as if we're not actually in the right space, in the right moment, in the right world. We're going to feel iffy and uncomfortable and we're just going to feel out of place. And so until we find that moment, until we find that balance where we're able to create a life where we're ha able to have that freedom in our own manner. Of course, every INFJ is going to be different in that regard. Some INFJs work a job that they don't really like that much, but that gives them the money to live their life in a way where they can spend their free time doing whatever they want, or they can have a lot of time off and they can do whatever they want there. Other INFJs like me, we, are, we create a life where we're able to reduce our expenses to very minimal, so that we're able to spend a lot of our time either not working on things to make money, but working on things that we really care about, and then making as little money as necessary in order to perpetuate this life forever and ever and ever. And so, of course, different INFJs will do it differently, but freedom is definitely, or independence is definitely one of those things that's paramount to us. And the last thing, of course, is beauty. And this is kind of a weird one, and I'm sure you're, if you're an INFJ, you're like, beauty, that doesn't make any sense. I don't care about beauty. But I know that for me, beauty has definitely been a value system for a long time. I did my values with a coach, I would say maybe 15 years, 15, 15 years ago. And beauty was one of those items that came up. Freedom came up, of course. Creativity came up, for sure. Community came up in that. Um, and those are the four or five items that came up 15 years ago. And I would say that those four or five items are still extremely important to me right now. But when I started thinking about beauty, when she put down beauty as one of my values, I was a little bit confused. And then she explained to me that beauty doesn't necessarily mean physical beauty. We're not necessarily interested in being physically beauty beautiful or being around physically beautiful people, which is nice. It's okay. But mainly what we're interested in is having beautiful things or luxurious things, one or two beautiful things to at hand that we can look at, or, or having functional beautiful things that we can work with, or having the beauty of nature around us. And so all of these things are very important to me. Having nature around me, greenery, beautiful scenes, uh, mountains, um, just forests, just greenery in general, birds, flowers, all that beautiful stuff. It, it just, it makes my heart glad to be alive. And even now I'm living in the burbs in Toronto and there is a lot of beauty here to be experienced in the form of flowers. So I go for a walk every day and I'll look at all the beautiful flowers around it just makes me really happy. It makes me feel alive. It makes me feel content. And so beauty can come to an INFJ in many different shapes, forms, and um, figures, and can be a, a beautiful Excel sheet that you might have created, or it might be a beautiful person that you're sitting next to, not necessarily outside, but in, or outside as well. Um, it could be just a beautiful scene that you're surrounded by. It could be a beautiful book that you're reading. It could be so many beautiful things that, are, that we have around us as human beings. It's kind of interesting how beauty can present itself in a myriad number of ways, right? And so that is beauty to me, and beauty is different to every INFJ. You know, something that's beautiful to me might not be beautiful to some other INFJ, but we need beautiful things in our own way in our life in order to feel content, in order to feel good about our life and to feel healthy. And so those are the four things that they said are very important to an INFJ, and I agree. There are other things, obviously, that are important to INFJs as well, but these are the paramount. If we have these four things, then, as I said, we will believe, we will live a life where we have purpose, we have meaning, we're not going to feel restless, we're not going to want to move around all the time, we're going to feel content with where we are, we're going to be able to make an impact and build our life purpose. We're going to live the life of a healthy INFJ versus an unhealthy INFJ. And so of course, the basic tenet or hypothesis of this video is bring those four things into your life as much as possible every single day. And this should be a constant practice with us in general is to realize these are my values. Why don't I have them in my life? What, what am I doing wrong? And so when my, my coach kind of delineated those five value systems for me, when for 15 years ago when I was working with her, I looked at those values and I was like, you know, I actually don't have a couple of these in my life. That's probably why I feel out of place, why I feel like I'm imbalanced. 
And so, or unbalanced, sorry. And so, I mean, I brought these things into my life on a daily basis or a regular basis. I felt a little bit more balanced. I felt like, all right, cool. I think I'm living according to my values. It feels good. It feels like I'm on the right path. It feels like I'm moving along with purpose. And it feels good in general. It feels like you're living a healthy, purposeful, meaningful life. And so look at these four items and then, you know, figure out what that means for you, particularly as an INFJ, and then try to bring those four items into your life in a manner that makes sense to you particularly. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone else on the planet, but if it makes sense to you, then that's perfect because that's going to move you forward into living a more healthy, more balanced, more content life. And that's what we all want as INFJs, I believe. If you have any questions about this, obviously, please comment below and I shall do a follow-up video. Uh, but again, thank you for sharing all of these beautiful thoughts with me. I'm always really interested in hearing from you, so please keep on doing that. I love it. Again, if you have questions, comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you the next time around. Bye for now.